The kids just left, except for the baby. He's asleep, got the baby monitor on. Older Ford just left to my mom's for the day. Sheep came last night. We brought them home last night. Hello, Ethel. Oh my goodness. That wind is crazy. Our sheep got here last night, excuse me. Here they are, here's the sheep. We weren't 100% sure we were gonna buy. We've been talking about getting sheep for a while. We weren't sure we were gonna buy because we went to an auction. We weren't sure what these sheep were gonna look like, if they were gonna be a good deal, you know, what they were gonna go for. All of the things. So we decided not to get anything ready because if you get stuff ready, you won't get them, right? So we brought them in last night and then we makeshifted a little door there because we didn't have any way to shut them out to keep them away from the cow and the horse. All of the big ones are due any day. There's one way back there. She's got a yellow tag. She just looked. She, her bag is full, so I'm guessing she's gonna be the first one to lamb. We didn't want them out with the cow and the horse just in case lambing started. So we locked them all up in here and today we have a huge project. I will show you what we have going on in the barn right now. And hopefully by the end of the day, it'll look a lot better. had goats these were our kidding pens here's our issue we now have a dairy cow who is about to calve soon so I need a spot to keep the dairy cow to separate the calf and a spot to milk we also need pens for the sheep with their lambs our horse is also very spoiled we need a spot <laughs> for the horse here's our game plan I can't promise that it's what's gonna happen our game plan is to get some lambing pens going along the wall back here. And then possibly put some sort of wall in the middle of this, okay? And then we'll have, this will all be for the lambs and the sheep, and then half of this area will be for the sheep. We're also thinking about cutting a hole in the wall so that the sheep have access to outside and then we'll put up fence so that they're not with the cows and the horse until they get used to them. And then right here, this half, so that half will be the sheep, this half will be for Buttercup the horse, is gonna be the calving area, the cow area for Ethel, and then possibly my milking area. Water's right there. Who knows what we're gonna come up with today. That's the plan, our plans never happen but that's what we got so far and let's see if it happens hey darling can i tell you what's been on my mind sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light hey darling we could get out of town see the beautiful world around wanna see it now to the little one that's a baby doll, and like it's not the cutest thing in the entire world. And then the big ones, we don't even know actually, but we're gonna call the auction people tomorrow, try to figure it out. But we got them for a decently good price. Now, we actually want Dorper sheep, so we are totally going backwards. So we kinda went against what we wanted, but those baby dolls are like the cutest thing ever, and I tried to get more of them, but they just went for too much. The baby dolls, they think are gonna have babies in May. And to be quite honest, those baby dolls are so cute that I'm almost like, well, maybe we shouldn't get dorpers anymore because they're tiny and they're adorable and I just can't even handle them. Now I said our plans never happen. The plan is to breed the big ones so these are a wool sheep. The plan is to breed those with a dorper. We'll see what happens. Hello, Ethel. Rusty is bringing a skid steer around. So I'm sure she got scared from the skid steer. Thank you. Right back in here. Do you want those two in the pasture while we do this? Are they fine? If you want them in the pasture, it'd probably be best. Or I was thinking of putting a couple lambing pens. Okay. And then, you know, from here, 
over to probably like so. Could be the horse stall from here. Over somewhere here. Would be the cow. That really got tore up. What happened there? I dropped a hay ball on it. And it fell like that? Yeah. This will be like an alleyway right in here so then the cow is essentially going to have this area here so when you bring her up here to milk and she can see her calf how do we make her so she doesn't walk off so we're i think we're gonna have to build expansion okay um which we, we don't have to think about that right now but we could cut this down so her neck no, goes in here okay and then bring something that comes across Okay. Or we could do a deal where we could put the halter on her and tie her up to the to that mm -hmm. so she just can't basically. Maybe. Yeah. Well let's just figure out where we're gonna milk her and then we'll do we'll figure out the stanchion issue later or what we're gonna do later. Well I think right here is where you're gonna milk her because she can see her calf. Okay. And then this is her stall. Okay. Come back, drink some of your water. Which I left in the house. Oh. <laughs> I know, I've needed it if you come to. I can go run and get it. a starting point here okay and so this here is what we're looking at everything look good there as far as no what I'm looking for is the size of her pen and oh. her alleyway yeah I think so is she gonna be able to come in here and make that corner let me see um possibly what do we do if we have to have water right here we probably won't have water right there okay we'll run water lines to the horse okay to the cow to the sheep okay. time has gone and i grew up I somehow made it through without losing sight mm -hmm. And I still wonder where you are And if you found a way out from the dark mm -hmm. The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind mm -hmm. And this road that I am on Gotta stay here for some time
we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Oh, the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright It is now one o'clock in the afternoon. I'm gonna show you what we have done so far hopefully I'm gonna be able to go get some lunch soon so far and we still have to add like breading and stuff obviously but this is gonna be Ethel the dairy cow's little pen so assuming she doesn't give birth on grass which is really ideal but if she has to give birth in a barn this is gonna be where it's at we um, added this wall thing here stabilize this this is where the calf is gonna be and then yeah just a little walkway hold on tight found what we're looking for in life call us crazy but things are finally right with you and I the future is bright woke up so I went in the house got him fed him I did the dishes I changed him I got him dressed we came out to the barn and we have places for the saddles now he moved the cupboard over here and it looks like we've got the little baby dolls have already claimed the birthing pins you're not supposed to be in here yet You want to go see him? Come here. Jace, come here. I'll come with you. Here I come. Should we go see the sheep? Come on. Should we go see him? Hi, girls. How are you? How are you? <laughs> Hi. You're okay. Okay. Is that scary? It's a lot more fun when they're behind a fence, isn't it? Black sheep might be the friendliest so far. I have the big ones anyway. Yeah, I think you're right. Nobody? Nobody? She must be the leader too. Right? She's ready? She's ready? 
Okay. 